Hi everyone, in this video from Count Backwards from 10, we're going to take a quick look at transient neurologic symptoms. Now, this is associated with lidocaine spinals. So, quick history lesson. Uh, lidocaine was first used for spinal anesthesia back in the uh, 1930s, 1940s, uh, and patients began to develop um, quick onset symptoms that looked like cauda equina syndrome. Uh, back when they used more concentrated um, formations of lidocaine, 5%, 6%, 7%, etc. Uh, after that, they began to describe transient neurologic symptom, which were predominantly made up of the symptoms pain in the buttock and bilateral lower extremities. It would start within the first day of the having received the spinal. It would last up to 10 days. And importantly, no motor deficits. Now, it can happen with any of our local anesthetics, be it bupivacaine, prilocaine, etc., but it's most commonly seen, and you're going to see it most times on your exams, associated here with lidocaine. Now, the reason there's a video on this, and I understand it's very short, um, is that this is something that is going to come up on your tests. It's the reason that we don't give lidocaine traditionally as a spinal anesthetic, but only as an epidural. And the thought process is that this is actually a almost subacute form of cauda equina syndrome. Now, we all know that very high concentrations and uh, of local anesthetics, once they come in contact with nerves, actually result in nerve damage. Um, that's why we don't say do injections directly into nerves when we do our blocks, but we do it around them. So the thought is that lidocaine specifically, more so than other ones, especially at higher concentrations, causes almost a subacute type of cauda equina syndrome secondary to direct nerve damage to the spinal cord. That's all for transient neurologic symptoms or syndrome as it's sometimes called. I know it's a quick video, but it's a quick topic. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to write in. Follow us on Instagram, account backwards from 10. Click the like button below and, and I'm sorry, subscribe. And as always, stay tuned for the next video.